Today, I'm gonna to be filling another spread in my sketchbook, specifically this one. I think I've made that joke before. Anyway, I've been facing a little bit of an art block. I have found different ways that spark cures for art block with me, but <laughs> since I am in a very sensitive emotional state right now, in the depths of an art block, I'm electing to ignore all of those and try something new. <laughs> Basically, I was perusing Pinterest as one does when they're procrastinating. The aesthetic of it kind of looks like every YouTube artist studio, except mine. You know, it's clean, it's white, it's got pops of organic green and, and then warm tones of furniture. And, and part of me just really liked that she matched her outfit to the plant and her hair to the pot. I just realized this picture is actually a product photo for these pajamas, which I can't say are the most flattering things. <laughs> Especially not for $117, although you're sleeping. So maybe it's just like the most comfortable thing in the world. Anyway, I digress. Basically what I thought I would do, since art block feels like torture, I would thought I would actually try and torture myself. The only rule is that I'm going to draw the same thing over and over and over again. And obviously I'm going to be using the reference. I'm really excited because it has like feet and stuff, which I think I've progressively gotten worse at drawing personally. <laughs> this is a really long intro. I'm going to just start drawing while I explain the other things that I was planning on doing. So basically I'm going to let myself change it up as I want, but the subject matter has to stay the same. And obviously I'm going to try and follow the reference as much as possible. And I just thought this pose was kind of interesting because it is very bottled up. It's very condensed and I just thought it would be fun to play with because and drawing characters standing there is kind of one of my fortes. <clears throat> so I thought if I'm going to really push myself and draw something repetitively, repeatedly, repeatedly, it might as well be something that I'm not that great at. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be too hard on myself because like I said, I'm in a bit of an art block and being hard on yourself is not helpful. Basically, I'm just scanning everything and doing quick passes. The only way you can get better is by pushing through the ugly. Oh yeah, this arm's gonna be tricky. Maybe I should have picked a reference that like you could actually see the body and it wasn't hidden in these pajamas. I honestly didn't even see the pajamas until like a moment ago. Something just about the aesthetic was speaking to me. But you can't really capture that without color, so maybe we'll have to dive into some colors. You know what I should be doing? <laughs> I'm not even finishing a single thought. I should be timing myself. At least for the first couple, you know, as gestures. I'll just finish up this and then I'll grab a timer and we can uh, try again. And they're really fun. I don't know if you've ever done timed gestures. Oh, she has closed eyes. This was a good reference to choose. Closed eyes are so much easier. <laughs> Okay, I don't know what's happening in the face. Like I said, art block's really doing a number on me. <laughs> I feel like I've slowly felt it like coming on over the last like month and a half, maybe all of 2020 to be honest. And I kind of just ignored it because that's what I usually do for the most part. But alas, <clears throat> I think depending on like my mental state at the time, it really helps you bounce back faster too. So yeah, not in one of those good places right now. <laughs> well, it kind of redeemed the face a bit. I think I want to go ahead, actually wait, we'll give her something to stand. Okay, that's good for the first one. All right, now I wanna set a timer. Let's do, I'm gonna start with a five minute. Oh, and we'll give myself five seconds to switch apps. Boop, bada, boo. As I just break down the shape as simply as possible here. Probably should have found the line of, I don't know if I'll worry about the chair so much. But basically, you, what ends up happening is like your first one that you haven't done in a while, you end up really rushing it and then realizing you have way more time than you think. And it looks like this, so you're like, oh, well, let me try and do another pass over this. And because your groundwork is kind of sloppy, the rest never quite captures the same essence that you'll see maybe in the future ones that I do. I'm kind of just speaking from experience. I don't know if this is gonna happen, but this is what usually happens. My first one is just a total dumpster fire. <laughs> That's kind of part of the adventure. This hair's confusing me. I'm gonna keep drawing it till it looks good. I am determined. All right, I think what I did wrong with this one is I didn't really focus on the body. I kind of looked at it as a whole chunk and now I'm not able to like fit the clothes on the character because there was no body underneath, if that makes sense. So yeah, basically I rushed it at the beginning. <laughs> so what I think I'd like to do on the next pass is exaggerate the motion. What art block tends to do to me is just stiffen my art. I, it's not so much my wrist because I've been kind of drawing for the last hour before I started filming. So it's not like I need to warm up or anything, which can sometimes cause stiff art. It's like art block just be, is like a perpetual cold wrist. <laughs> Does that make sense? And I hate using art block as like an excuse 
I mean, maybe I'm just using art block as a as a word to describe art anxiety or something. <laughs> Underperforming. I don't know. <laughs> ah, okay. Time's up. Alright, so there's my five minute one. I'm gonna progress and do another one, but this time focus on the fact that I do have a decent amount of time. Let me sit up straighter in my chair. Because <laughs> when your view's distorted, your art's gonna be distorted too, okay? I'm really gonna try to close my mind. Not close my mind. Open my mind to the possibilities and not stress about making it perfect. Okay, that's gonna be my like, goal. Ready? Let me do a little breathing. All right, five, four, three, two, and one. But basically, I want to focus on the gesture. So, if we, I don't know if this makes sense actually. I'm gonna try and find the body beneath those, those linen pajamas. <laughs> Face is looking to the right there. He's got one eye closed, mouth. <laughs> Uh, her ear is covered by her hand. Now usually, in most circumstances, the head is leaning forward a little. So I'm gonna try that this time. I don't know. Bodies are leaning back. This arm is the really confusing one. Basically, it's coming in front. And then this. <clears throat> Another thing we can try after this, if this also turns out less than satisfactory to me. Obviously, we all have different standards. Um, I'm gonna try and switch over to like thumbnails, which is probably what I should have started with. You know what? I think she's actually leaning further back. So the butt would be further forward, which means all this needs to come forward too. Then the chin looks like it's actually dipped a little, which I think I can't. Well, no, those two are dipped. It's just this one was up. <laughs> okay, now I think her butt's too far forward. I actually kind of like that shape better than this one. And this one I was actually trying to make the shape as I see it in the picture. They keep getting smaller. <laughs> oh, time's up. I'm gonna change the timer to like two minutes and I'm gonna try and do them in the thumbnails. This way we're shrinking down the problem into a smaller bite-sized piece. About this big. <laughs> All right, so now I draw it very small. I can focus on the gesture easier because details won't come as Details will be kind of difficult to squeeze in there. I keep forgetting the gesture line. I'm a terrible example. With this arm. Ooh, ooh, I think I'm onto something on this one. Like it's a little bit looser. Dip the neck down a little. I think I have a lot more time than I think I do too. So I can kind of fix some things. Fix some errors on the first pass. Oh, time's up. <laughs> I don't know if it's my best, but I definitely want to do another one of those. It felt a little bit more freeing and I don't know like I was doing what I was supposed to be <laughs> so let's start another one and hopefully the more I draw this the better I'll get at it anyway just because I'm drawing the same thing over and over again here although is that the definition of insanity how does this arm I really wish her sleeve was rolled up more so I could see what this arm's doing I think that's where I'm having a lot of difficulty and it's not like the best pose in in regards to like silhouette I also kind of want to make sure that the hair looks like it's being pulled back with that hand because I feel like that's kind of important. Oh, time's up. Okay, kind of like this one. Maybe we should go back to a five minute and see if it improved anywhere from this one. Maybe I'll go six minutes. Ooh, just give myself the benefit of the doubt. All right, let's give it another go. Start. I'm actually kind of enjoying my little over here. From what we had in there, let me try and really oops, <clears throat> break down the shapes from the beginning. We don't want to rush this. I think I, I don't know. The pose is a little confusing. She's actually just looking. I think one issue is I'm not drawing the shoulders high enough because she's leaning forward a bit. So her head, neck should be coming from a little bit lower on the shoulder area. Then this arm kind of does something loopy like that. <laughs> Let's try and throw the face in. Actually, maybe I should worry about other things first. Uh, like the body. Okay, so if we put the foot here, this knee is down here. This knee's more up here. And the thing is, there's a lot of foreshortening going on with the legs, which is something I struggle with. So I'm glad I have the reference for this. And just use it to help. <laughs> it's here to help. This hand's up here. 
Oh, I didn't draw the chair in. I keep breaking it. See, I'm definitely heavy handed today. I kind of really like this hand. It looks nothing like the reference, but I like that it like points backwards, which is progress. I always like to color in the hair in my gestures, even the quick ones, if I have time. I really shouldn't even be calling these gestures. Just timed sketches. That's better. Timed sketches. How to do these folds. They confuse me. Oh. Time's up. As I continue. <laughs> I do think this one's my best. And the reason for that is I think I was slowly building a little bit of confidence after those mini ones. And then I kind of took some liberties. You see, I kind of turned the head. I created a space in this leg here. So it's more silhouette-y, <laughs> which I think kind of shows more confidence than I've showed in any of the other drawings. So that means I'm heading in the right direction. And I also think the head ended up the lowest in the shoulders. I think I just drew the torso really long. Probably my biggest critique. Sometimes I do that on a good day. So <laughs> that's not so bad. Since we have space in here, I think I'm going to do another two minutes and do some small ones and fill in the space just because I want to get the most bang for my buck here. And we go once again. I'm not even talking. I'm just, just focusing on this. Okay, this one ended up really sprawl legged. <laughs> see if I can fix that. I think it's this leg needs to come farther forward. I think the timer should have gone off by now. But here we are. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. Oops, I'm just smudging the crap out of some of these. I quite like that. I think the legs are the weakest part of that. So let's move over here. Let's do another one. I always start with the head for some reason. That's just how my... I'm gonna try turning the body this way. I think that might be what's happening. So we got one leg. We got the other one coming up a little bit. This leg, this leg, uh, okay. <laughs> but then this arm doesn't make sense. It makes more sense when I draw it where it's leaning and putting most of its weight on that left arm or her right arm, I guess. It's just, it kind of looks like she is doing something like this. So it's hard to say because I chose a reference that covers all her body. <laughs> it's really hard to see the, the gesture, I guess. <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't like that one. I think this one makes more sense just with the weight of the character. Whereas this one, I'm trying to like lean her forward and that's definitely not what happens in the reference, but I tried something different and now like everything's falling apart cause I'll look up at a reference, like a different part of the body and then it doesn't quite match up with this one. So yeah, that's, that's the weakest of it. I'm not even, I don't even know what to do with it. Besides so just let it die. Oh, <laughs> time up. I think these two are my favorite and it's when I really lean into the gesture and exaggerate it which is when my art style looks the best and probably when most art looks the best. <laughs> it's almost like when I have art block, I basically just throw everything that I like learned fundamentally about art and just try to draw the lines. <laughs> and that's when things get uh, less polished because I much prefer this one over that one, even with the issues, which I mentioned. So let's move on to the next one. All right, so on this next page, we're, uh, we're greeted by so many new possibilities. <laughs> okay, so this time I kind of like to just throw a flat wash of gray, which is the background color kind of, and let that dry while I continue to work on sketching out the character. Just cause I'm, I'm longing for some color. <laughs> just need a little color in my life, even if it's gray. Okay, I just spent way too much time trying to make this color and it's still not right, but I'm just gonna live with it. <laughs> it's kind of like a yogurt gray. All I wanna do is just draw a box back here. Oh yeah, that's definitely the wrong color. <laughs> Fill in a nice, rectangle there we go nice and solid i don't think i even need another coat let that dry and we can move on to figure out how to actually draw this character again okay we'll start actually i'm gonna leave that space blank so i can draw on that easier let's just move over here i'm gonna not time myself i'm just gonna draw until this is dry that's my timer so if we draw the gesture line you can see the weight of the character being pressed like that-ish. Then we'll have a knee here, a knee up here. Face is looking up a little bit more. It's still dipped, but it seems it has a little bit more optimism in it than that last sketch. Ooh, oh, I haven't tried this. If we turn the chest almost straight towards the viewer 
and then rotate the hips to the right a bit. We get something that looks more like this. I think I definitely stiffened up on this again. See, it's when I start putting like pressure on myself, I just kind of like close off and tighten up. <laughs> Art anxiety, man. Because if you check the buttons, they kind of go in a this way fashion. Like you can't see them, but it looks like they're doing this. Also gonna make an executive decision to change up the sleeves a little, make it fit my style. It's a really tricky angle for the face. Ooh, see, okay. Loosening up a bit. I was really free and flowy with the hair. I think that helped. The mouth is an area of concern for me. I think I want to pull this leg up and back a little bit. I think in here makes sense. You know, just let my artist brain take over. It usually can handle these sort of things on a good day. <laughs> I've been abandoning the feet, so let's put a little bit more effort into these ones. Okay. <laughs> but I feel like that's easier to break down. So yeah, I'm kind of trying to find the shapes. Because toes are complicated, but if you break it down into just a big toe and the little toes are all one, then you get something kind of like this. Alright, I think this is the most loose my sketches have been so far. So that's a plus. What was my list of things I wanted to practice? Fold hands, feet, and color. Okay, the three things I've been avoiding the most. <laughs> I'm betraying myself. Let me just... <laughs> <laughs> Bring this knee down a smidge. I think the mouth and everything. This is where if I was doing digital art, I'd zoom in. That is not possible. You can actually see, I think, a smidge of her cheek. So I need to... I'm gonna grab my teeny tiny eraser. Find it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, people now. Where the heck is it? Oh, right over here. Basically, it's more similar to that sketch I did when I like just tried to draw the face my own way. Then I realized, because now that I've zoomed in, I can see a bit more. Oh, I like this so much better. Okay, getting somewhere. Kind of did my own thing with the hand. I think the eye should be more farther forward. Although now I don't like it as much. Oh well. Oh, there's a big pocket. I wonder what that fold was. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of tone in here since I'm feeling a little crazy. I think having something that I'm pretty happy with is gonna be good for my confidence in these dark times. Draw these more conscient conscientiously. Just gonna go ahead and draw one more here. And uh, hope for the best, and then, and then hopefully this will be dry. Plan with this one is to be super loose, and draw it as if I wasn't using a reference. If that makes sense. So how would I draw this pose if I had thought of it off the top of my head or something like that? But like obviously want to maintain those elements. Oop, not enough space. I also want to move the hips up a little. This arm needs to come way up in front. And then back behind the ear. And then there's that like waist section with the crimping on the shirt. Actually, this side might go up a little higher. Put the buttons, and legs, legs, back leg thing. Just shade that, shade that. Uh, the hair, the hair, back to the hair. Um, so for this hand, I think I'm gonna pull it back a little. Try to keep the hair similar length. Gotta keep her smiling, cause she is in the reference. Okay, the head is too high! Can I fix this? But since I did do the groundwork, I kind of know what's missing. Which brings the elbow up a little too. Bring the shoulder up. I'm really having a head too small sort of issue here. <laughs> Give you that dimple. Oh, there's the one I was missing. <laughs> that makes me feel better. Okay. I think I'm figuring out these shoulders. The more I draw them, the easier... I kind of, the more I understand them. And they may or may not be what's actually in the reference, but it's how I'm interpreting it. And obviously you can't quite ever know unless I find this woman and ask her. <laughs> Ooh, this foot turned out really nice. I like it, I like it. Hey, 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 found some lines down here. Alrighty, I think I'm figuring it out. And I like the gesture to it. Is that the right word? 
Motion? I like the motion to it. I'm just a, a, a drawer trying to find their way in the world. I don't even know if I would call myself an artist. I always found the label artist a little uh, grand for myself. I consider myself more of a drawer. So don't look to me for professional advice. Kind of just share my art online so that I can have drawing buddies <laughs> and not feel like I'm drawing alone all the time. That sounded really sad, but it's true. Okay, I think what I want to do though is just draw it. And from here, we're going to move over to this little block of color. I purposely left this empty so that I wouldn't be smudging a drawing. I kind of want to include the little plant that I've been ignoring, which means we have to draw way smaller. Okay, don't want to put too much detail. That's right where my hand's going to be. Now I know that the bottoms of the legs of the chair will be here. And then the chair goes up almost here. So that's our chair. And then we're gonna have a character on top of that. Okay, that should hopefully help with sizing everything. <laughs> so the butt be here, shoulders, that knee, this knee, uh, this head. No, 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 wait. Head needs to be lower because the shoulders are down there. Head should be almost here. This is the time shine. Ooh, 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 here we go. I'm feeling stronger just not to post this video. <laughs> But I, th I don't know, I feel like I have to. No, not that I have to. I just feel like I should for one reason. And it's because this isn't a tutorial art channel. This is an art channel that is showcasing my journey as an artist, as an individual. And it's gonna show my ups, it's gonna show my downs. And if I don't show failures, how will I ever really be able to measure successes, you know? So I gotta just accept the way things turn out sometimes and move forward. What I think I'm gonna do is do some research into figuring out this really big issue I'm having because I don't think art block has anything to do with the way this turned out. It has a lot to do with my color choosing abilities. Whereas art block is more like when you start slipping on things that you do know. So I'm kind of weirdly inspired right now, but I think it is time to take a break from this. Let's see, oh, here's where we started very stiff it got smoother we got a lot more weight to the character we have the little thumbnails which really helped i think and then we had these two and then my little random little color blob <laughs> i think i did what i really set out to do which was to conquer my art block and it's not always gonna be pretty thanks for coming along with me on this journey and exploration through art let's keep going okay <laughs> but for right now it's time to take a break thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys all next week, and I hope you have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye!